the old four fundamentals model was really just a short checklist to describe a very simplified shot process for brand new shooters and for novices. It stripped down everything to the most simple method to get people to get a minimum passing score on a qualification. That's it. The problem is they threw breathing in there as some kind of fundamental, as if it had any real significant effect on shooter performance, especially stringing shots vertically. What that chart is showing you is the fact that as you breathe in and out, it's going to induce movement, which is going to translate into something that looks about like this. You breathe in and out, the site will track more or less straight up and down vertically. Yes, if you trigger shots while this is occurring, you are going to get your shots dispersed vertically. But notice what this does. This is aiming error. It might be due to the fact that you're breathing in and out, but this is aiming error. That means if you're triggering shots while this is occurring, whatever the reason might be, say due to breathing, you are inducing aiming error. And this is critically important to understand. That means if you're confident you saw something that looks like this, your sights centered on your intended point of aim with no apparent movement as you triggered the shot, if there is any shot error, it cannot possibly be due to breathing. It's impossible. If breath control was the cause, then you would have seen that movement in your sights. If you didn't see that movement, then any vertical error can never be due to breath control. This point was so important that the authors of the current training circular put it in the manual, spelling it out. Vertical dispersion during grouping is most likely not caused by breathing. Bullets strung vertically do not necessarily mean a breathing issue. They put it there specifically because this myth has been so rampant, they're trying to stomp it out.